here with Beth Mowens, who's calling the game tomorrow for CBS. And Beth, we've really come full circle. Uh, you called the first game and then now the last game of the year. Uh, how's the season gone for you? It's, you know, it's been a whirlwind, and I, I think like even for all the fans, the ups and downs and the highs and lows of a year, but uh, it, it's been such a privilege and, and a pleasure to be a part of the NFL. And, you know, even talking with some of the Broncos today, you know, no matter if there's something big on the line or not, it's still always a, a privilege to be a part of an NFL game and an NFL telecast. Well, what's it mean to do the Monday night game and then obviously now calling a few games here for CBS? You know, it, it, when you talk about, I think, two amazing franchises, Monday night football, the NFL on CBS. Uh, it, it's been, you know, quite a thrill ride and and maybe in the off season I'll be able to look back and, and appreciate things a little bit more. But honestly, it's it's kind of like the coaches and players. You, you get into the day to, day to day and you move on to your next game uh, week to week. But uh, it, it's it's just been a real blast. Well, I know that when we first talked, you said you weren't sure if you were blazing a trail or not. And a lot of people want to put that, you know, title on you. But do you feel like that now after you've gone through an entire year? You know, I, I, I hope maybe I'm, I'm an inspiration to any young kid that's got a dream. It's what I always wanted to do was to be a sportscaster and to call play-by-play. -play. So hopefully uh, it's a message to any kid out there, no matter who you are, what your background is. Uh, if you work hard and put yourself in a position to, to do what you love to do, uh, then, then it is attainable. A uh, busy time of year for you too, right? Bowl games and this. Uh, how are you managing your schedule? You know, you, you got to plan ahead. You got to plan accordingly. And, and uh, you know, you hope you get everybody's names and numbers right and, and the, the sports right. Uh, you're doing a little college. You're doing a little NFL. You're doing some basketball this time of year. So it, it's all good. I, you know, I wouldn't want it any other way. I've got to ask you one, I guess, about the matchup. How, how do you think? Two young quarterbacks really going after it. I, you know, and I think that's the story even on a, on a national scale. You know, you talk to fans around the country. They want to see what Paxton Lynch has. They, and, and they certainly, uh, we, you know, the way we've been framing it, I don't know if there's any backup in the NFL this year that's got more hype than Patrick Mahomes does so uh, I, I think that's you know it's a game to to sort of look towards the future and see what each side has at quarterback well we're looking forward to your call thank you so much for your time Beth thank you Phil appreciate happy it. new year happy new